Today we're comparing the Acorns investing app and the Robinhood stock trading app. We'll break down their features, discuss how each app is designed differently, and help you decide which is the right investing app for you. Hey, welcome back guys. This is Eric of EverydayInvesting.com. And on this channel, I'm all about helping the everyday investor like you and I get started saving and investing. So if you're new here today, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Today we are comparing the Acorns app and the Robinhood app, guys. Just to let you know if after the video you would like to learn more about either app, I do have full in-depth reviews, so I'll be sure to link those full in-depth reviews down below, as well as links to where you can join them online as well. With that being said, guys, let's now hop into today's comparison of the Acorns app and the Robinhood app. So when it comes to the Acorns app and the Robinhood app, they do have a couple similarities, guys. Firstly, both of these are popular investing apps for getting started investing in the stock market. And both of them are available on iOS and Android devices. That's it. That's literally it. There are no more similarities. Everything else is different from here on out, so let's get to that. So the first difference between these two apps is the account minimum to get started. With the Acorns app, you can get started investing with as little as $5. And with the Robinhood app, the minimum is technically $0, but there is a bit of a caveat with that. Because while the minimum is technically $0, the real minimum with Robinhood is the price of the stock you want to invest in or you want to buy. So for example, on Robinhood, let's say you want to buy a share of stock that's $80, then your account minimum is $80 to buy that stock and open an account. On the other hand, if you want to invest in a stock that's only $20 on Robinhood, well then that's your account minimum, $20 to get started investing in that stock. Again, on Acorns, the account minimum is a fixed $5. Next, I want to cover some of the differences in how these apps are designed. So Robinhood at its core, at its heart, is designed to be a stock trading app. This means it's ideal and built for active short-term stock trading. Whereas Acorns, on the other hand, guys, is more built at its core to be a long-term investing platform. It's more about long-term investing, long-term growth of your portfolio, whereas, like I said, Robinhood is a lot more centered on active stock trading. So those are two key differences in how each app is designed. Both do each of their jobs really well, depending on what you're looking for. And diving in even further to the differences between these two apps, Acorns has investing automation tools to help you automate and encourage that passive investing for long-term growth, whereas Robinhood has a lot more stock trading short-term tools built in that encourage stock trading and really help you maximize that in. So a lot of the tools built into these apps, guys, is centered around their two core focuses. When it comes to Acorns, they have several investing automation tools, such as their Roundups feature. This is a cool feature on the Acorns app that basically allows you to invest the spare change from your everyday purchases and have that invested for you automatically into your Acorns portfolio, helping you to grow and encourage growth of your portfolio passively without really having to think about it. Another great investing automation tool with the Acorns app is their recurring deposits feature. So you can set up a recurring deposit for Acorns to automatically uh, transfer money for you that you set up, that you choose from your bank to your Acorns account on an either weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis to really help you, again, encourage that passive long-term investing. Consistency, that's the key with Acorns. Another automation investing tool on Acorns, guys, is their investing your cash back. Acorns has a built-in cash back portal, which is really cool, really helps you earn money basically on your everyday purchases from hundreds of major online retailers and local merchants as well. And Acorns will not only help you earn cash back with your Acorns account, but actually invest that cash back back into your Acorns portfolio. So another great investing automation tool on Acorns. Now again, with all three of those investing automation tools on the Acorns app, those are all great tools because they again help encourage consistent contributions passively without having to think about, about it. This is what grows your portfolio over time, these small consistent contributions with compound interest, that is the key to growing wealth over time. Now, moving on to the Robinhood app, guys. Robinhood does have one automation investing tool and that is recurring deposits. So Robinhood does allow you to set up weekly, bi-weekly or monthly uh, recurring deposits to your Robinhood account if you so choose, so that's great. But other than that, they don't have any uh, investing automation tools like Acorns. Where Robinhood shines, guys, is through their trading tools. Robinhood has several tools to help you with trading stocks, such as uh, advanced order types, such as market orders, limit orders, stop loss orders, and stop limit orders. And if you don't know what those are, I do have a more in-depth Robinhood tutorial video covering those order types. Robinhood also offers extended hours trading, which means you can trade before and after the stock market closes. And neither one of those features is available on Acorns. 
Robinhood also offers Robo Robinhood Crypto. And essentially, Robinhood Crypto allows you to trade a few select cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and a few others, again, not available on the Acorns app. Lastly, Robinhood does also have uh, Robinhood Options, which allows you to basically trade options, which is a more advanced type of stock trading, which I won't get into right here. But essentially, as you can see, all those tools and resources built into the Robinhood app are a lot more geared towards short-term active stock trading. Acorns doesn't have any of those features. Acorns features are geared again towards long-term investing with those automation investing tools. Next up, guys, I wanna talk about the investments offered on both platforms because that is another key difference between them. So when it comes to the investments offered on the platforms, let's first start off with Acorns. Acorns keeps it simple. They have five pre-built diversified portfolios for you to choose from. Based on your investment objectives, they have portfolios in risk ranging from ultra conservative uh, to conservative to moderate to moderately aggressive and aggressive. So you can choose one of those five pre-built portfolios and Acorns will automatically invest every dollar that you invest into that portfolio. They're already well built, well designed and diversified. Now, other than that, Acorns doesn't have any more customization to your uh, investment portfolio. Robinhood, on the other hand, guys, has offers currently over 5,000 individual stocks and ETFs which you can invest in to really help you customize and build your portfolio. Robinhood does also, like I said, offer the ability to buy and sell cryptocurrency, a few cryptocurrencies, which Acorns does not. Now, this isn't necessarily a, a plus or a minus to either app. It's just that each app is different. Another key difference between these two apps, guys, is the actual ability to buy fractional shares versus full shares. Let's just say you want to buy a share of a tech stock that costs $300. You have to pay the full $300 on Robinhood to buy that stock. Whereas with Acorns, like I said, you can invest in $5 increments into a diversified portfolio that may hold that stock inside its diversified holdings. So there is kind of a plus and minus between the two. You have a lot more uh, ability to invest in individual stocks in Robinhood, but you have to buy full shares, which may cost a lot more up front. Whereas on Acorns, guys, like I said, you can invest smaller amounts up front, but you don't have access to all the individual stocks that you'll find on Robinhood. The next major difference between these two apps is the account types they offer and their versatility. So let's first start off straight off the bat. I'll say it that Acorns is a lot more versatile of an app than Robinhood. Acorns offers a lot more than just an investing account. Acorns, in addition to their Acorns Core investing account, Acorns also offers an optional account called Acorns Later, which means you can open up a retirement account, either a traditional or a Roth IRA. Acorns also offers a mobile checking uh, account inside the app that comes with an Acorns debit card, which you can use to not only earn cash back from online and local retailers, but you can use that to actually uh, have a mobile free checking account inside your app that has no fees, no maintenance fees, no ATM fees, none of those fees, no overdraft fees. Robinhood, on the other hand, guys, only has the investing account and that's it. Robinhood doesn't offer a mobile checking account at this time. Robinhood doesn't also does not offer a retirement account option at this time. Next up is pricing. This is another difference between the two apps. Robinhood, on one hand, guys, it is 100% commission free to buy and sell stocks. If you're looking to trade stocks, Robinhood might be an ideal option for you because there are no commissions to buy or sell, no commissions to trade. 100% free. Now, Robinhood does offer an optional uh, account, upgraded account option called Robinhood Gold, which does actually give you access to several more advanced trading features, and that comes in at $5 a month for Robinhood Gold. Now moving on over to Acorns, guys. Acorns does offer several different tiers of membership. The first one is the Acorns Core Investing Account. And Acorns Core Investing Account is a fixed $1 per month on balances up to a million dollars. It's just a fixed $1 per month fee. That is for your Acorns Core Investing Account. If you're looking to get the Acorns Core Investing Account plus bundle that with the Acorns Later Retirement Account, that'll be a fixed fee of $2 a month. And lastly, if you want to bundle the Acorns Core Investing Account plus the Acorns Later Retirement Account plus the Acorns Spend Mobile Checking Account with debit card, that'll be a fixed fee of $3 per month. So you have different tiers with Acorns. One last major thing I forgot to mention, guys, if you're a student, if you're a student currently, you may want to consider Acorns because Acorns actually uh, waives uh, fees for students for up to four years for as long as you're a student. So again, if you're a student, that, and you wanna open up an Acorns Core investing account, get started investing, that $1 fixed monthly fee is waived for up to four years. Definitely something to consider if you're a college student. At the end of the day, guys, either app can be an ideal option to get started investing in the stock market. 
It just really comes down to what are your individual goals and objectives. With that being said, I do have a couple of pros and cons in mind to help you uh, decide which might be a more ideal investing app for you. So first let's go over some of the pros and cons and we'll start off with Acorn's pros and cons. So the first pro for Acorn is that I think if you're a new investor who is completely new to the stock market, uh, who has no experience investing and wants to get started saving and investing, you might want to consider Acorns because Acorns is a lot less overwhelming than Robinhood initially if you're a new investor. The reason is because Acorns, like I said, really helps you. They have the pre-built, six pre-built and diversified portfolios for you to choose from. And that's essentially it. You choose one of those, Acorns does all the investing for you. The second pro with the Acorns app is for students. Again, if you're a student, you get that student discount for up to four years. Definitely don't leave that behind if you're a student. And the third pro with the Acorns app is that if you're an investor who's more interested in long-term investing in growth versus active stock trading, you may definitely consider the Acorns app as a more ideal option. And the last pro with the Acorns app is that the Acorns app has a lot more automation investing tools than the Robinhood app does from roundups, from investing your spare change to investing your cash back to setting up automatic recurring deposits. A lot of these, a lot of these automation tools are built into the Acorns app and they're just not there on the Robinhood app. So now let's go over some of the cons with the Acorns app. So the first con with the Acorns app is if you're a more experienced investor, you may want to consider the Robinhood app because the Acorns app, again guys, doesn't have the ability to customize your portfolio beyond those five pre-built and diversified portfolios. The second con with the Acorns app is that it's just not as ideal for active stock traders. Again, the Acorns app does an amazing job at getting you started for long-term investing and growth. But if you're looking to actively trade stocks, you're just not going to have that functionality on the Acorns app. It's not a stock trading app. It's a long-term investing app. And the third con with the Acorns app is that if you're looking to invest or trade individual stocks, specific stocks, you know, Tesla, Facebook, Walmart, Starbucks, specific individual stocks, you don't have that ability on Acorns. Acorns, again, has those five pre-built portfolios and they're composed of, of hundreds of stocks inside, hundreds of major companies like that, like Amazon and others but you don't have the ability to invest solely in specific individual stocks on Acorns. So now let's hop on over back to the Robinhood app and go over some of the pros and cons. Firstly, with the Robinhood pros. So the first pro with the Robinhood app is it's definitely a more ideal option for investors who are a little more experienced, maybe a little more intermediate even, who wanna have a lot more customization over their portfolio. If you wanna invest in specific individual stocks, really customize your portfolio, Robinhood might be a more ideal option for you. And going into that even further, again, with the Robinhood app, another pro is that you have access to investing in over 5,000 ETFs and individual stocks, which you just don't have that access to on the Acorns app. The third pro with the Robinhood app is that it does give you access to trading cryptocurrency, a few major cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Litecoin, and others, and you don't have that functionality on the Acorns app. And the fourth pro with the Robinhood app is that it has a lot more stock trading tools and resources built into the app than Acorns does. Because again, Robinhood guys is a stock trading app, so it's gonna have a lot more tools and features geared towards active stock trading. So let's lastly cover some of the cons with the Robinhood app. So the first con with the Robinhood app is that if you're a new investor who is again completely new to the stock market, you may consider the Robinhood app a little bit overwhelming because again, the responsibility is on you to customize and build your own portfolio, whereas on Acorns, they already do that for you and you just get started investing. The second con with the Robinhood app, guys, is that it may require more funds up front to get started investing. The reason is because whereas on Acorns, you can get started investing with as low as $5, on Robinhood, the minimum is the price of the stock you want to buy. And the final con with the Robinhood app is that it just doesn't offer as much versatility as the Acorns app. Again, the Robinhood app is a great stock trading app, but that's all it offers. The Acorns app offers the investment account like Robinhood, but it also offers an re optional retirement account, an optional uh, cashback portal, and also a mobile banking checking account with a debit card as well. So for versatility, that is a con for Robinhood. So let me know down below in the comments which app you prefer. Are you a Team Robinhood player? Are you a Team Acorns player? Let me know down below. I want to hear what's your take. What's the consensus from the everyday investing community? If you guys would like to try out either one of these apps, I'll link down below where you can join them online, as well as links to my full in-depth individual review videos on both of these apps I have on my YouTube channel. Each video goes more in-depth on each app in case you're interested in which app is right for you if you're still not sure. Anyways, guys, as always, if you have any questions, leave your questions down below. Always happy to answer those for you. And thank you again for being a part of the Everyday Investing community. I'll catch you all in the next episode of Everyday Investing.